Hey folks, welcome to a new MA Tips. This time I would like to show you some new improvements to our MA Start Show in Grand MA 3 version 1.9. So, as you all know, the MA Start Show is always available for us as the perfect starting point to program your show. No matter if you are doing busking, where it is extremely helpful, or if you are programming a show from scratch, the MA Start Show delivers you some powerful layouts you can already use, some predefined objects like groups, presets. You just have to patch fixtures and you can immediately start programming. Just to remind you, we go to our backup menu and we press load. And in our demo shows folder, you will find the MA Start Show over here. And you can load it at any time. Just patch the fixtures, fill your groups, and you can immediately use those predefined objects and the layouts. And now in version 1.9, next to the static layouts, like for the dimmers, positions, and colors you can see over there, we have some new layouts which take care to help you um, creating some dynamic stuff, some phases. So when we go to the layouts over here, you will find dimmer, position and color phaser layouts. So let's have a look at the dimmer phaser layout, for example. We take um, the first group, which are the spots. Um, we can select a form over there. We can select a grouping of three and we toggle the whole thing and our dimmer phaser is already running. So um, a really nice, uh, easy, simple and powerful tool to create our phasers. Of course, we can change it on the fly. So we do not want to have a grouping, but we want to have a wings of two. And you can see this is immediately done uh, in our 3D or at the output. So um, this is quite nice to use. Of course, uh, we can use it now for positions as well. So let's bring the fixtures to full. We change to our position phaser layout. And here is exactly the same story. We have one line for our first group. We select a form, which might be a circle in this case. And we have a wings of two and we toggle the whole phaser and then our circle is running. You can see you can define a fade and delay as well. You can define an off time, which is quite helpful when you turn this off. So um, this is quite um, a powerful layout uh, to do your phases. And of course you can combine it now, right? So you can go to the dimmer phaser layout again and maybe choose your form, maybe a kind of ramp with a grouping of three, no wings, and we toggle this whole thing and we have a combination of dimmer and position phaser running. Great. So all dimmer phaser off and all position phaser off and we just have a short look at our colors as well. We bring our fixtures to full and in the color phaser layout, we can see that we can choose two colors now. So maybe we want to have something nice like um, a red and yeah, let's take the cyan. This is nice. Uh, we select the form, maybe a ramp again and we do a grouping of three and we toggle this whole thing and you can see the color phaser is already running at our 3D. This is nice. Um, and again, we can change it on the fly. Uh, we do not want to have red, but we want to have a green and a violet, for example. So thank God I'm not a lighting designer, but you can see what I mean. These layouts um, help us to be very powerful in creating our phases directly on the fly. So have a look at the MA Start Show, especially in Grand MA 3 version 1.9 with these nice improvements. Use the Start Show as your perfect starting point to program your individual show. Um, hopefully this helps and see you next time for the next MA Tips and happy programming.